Okay. No, you didn't already see this video. You're like, where'd all that writing go? You notice the biconditional arrow here, how it goes both ways? So we're going to talk about how do we, there's a previous video that talks about converting Cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates. So when you know x and y, how do you find r and theta? Now we're going to do an, a, a video on if you know r and theta, how do you find x and y? And it's, essentially, it's the same concept, guys, and it's the idea of right triangle properties, trigonometry, the Pythagorean theorem, special right triangles if you want. Okay, so here's this point, right? Now imagine, if you will, we don't have the overlay of the Cartesian grid here. If you knew the r and theta of this, what you would know is this distance, and you'd know this angle. You'd know how, how far you had to rotate the polar axis to get to there, and you'd know how far out it was. Now, if you wanted to know the y coordinate, okay, and if you wanted to know the x coordinate, it would take a little bit of work. But it's the same, it's the same you know, arena of right triangle property. So say you want to know this measurement right here, and you know this, and you know this, right? How would you find this side? If you knew this angle, and you knew this hypotenuse, how would you find that side? Well, that side is opposite that angle. So you could say that the sine of theta is equal to y over r, and don't lose sight of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to find y. We're trying to find the value of this vertical displacement. So how would I solve for y in this equation? I'd multiply both sides by r. So I'd have r sine theta equals y. There's our, there's our formula for finding y if we know r and theta. We just plug those two values in here. Okay? Kind of interesting how y values always show up when we're talking about sine, right? Okay. Now, how, what would we do to find x? It'd be nearly the same thing, right? If I want to find x and I know theta and I know r, this would be the adjacent side of that angle. So it would be essentially the exact same setup, but instead of sine, what are we talking about? You guessed it. That, that sort of sisterhood between x and cosine and y and sine. Those are connected values in this, in this Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, but again, I'm showing you these, okay, but in my opinion, it takes away your ability to problem solve if you're just going to use formulas to do this. Okay, when we do some examples here in a second, I'm not going to use the formulas. They exist. They're great. Okay, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to problem solve my way through this stuff. All right?